Hi, and welcome to this demo of Bluestone PIM. We will take a look at how changes in the Bluestone PIM public API affect the data that's coming into Magento using the Magento extension for integration between Bluestone PIM and Magento e-commerce. So, let's log into Magento. We see in the left-hand side that we have a special Bluestone PIM icon. Now let's look at the dashboard for that. We see that we have a list of the last syncs. Okay, let's click the Sync button and we see now that we have a schedule running. This is actually dependent on how you set up your Magento. So you have to schedule the Magento cron to run quite often to make this work smoothly. And it's now waiting to sync it. We see that we have sync in place and it's a success. If we go into a single product, we see that for instance, our change with the short sleeves is currently available in the product. So our changes in Bluestone PIM has moved over to Magento by first using the sync option inside Bluestone PIM to make the data available on the outside. So let's see how a totally new product will look in this case. So let's go over to Bluestone PIM again, select the product that has been unpublished, and click the Action button. Select Publish, and product is now published. Well, it's still not available in Magento, so we have to perform the sync Getting that data from the public API just takes a few seconds to run. That's because it has to loop through all the products that are currently in Magento and in Bluestone PIM public API and compare them and pull them in. We can see that there it is. So now the product with image, the text, the attributes, everything is available in Magento. And that concludes this demo of Bluestone PIM.